Hello mga Kamarkimatics! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the new episode of our math video tutorial. Are you struggling in math? If your answer is yes, you are in the right channel. So do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more math video tutorials. Because this channel has an objective of making you, people on the screen, fall in love in mathematics. So let us discover the beauty of numbers. So let's get it on. Look into my eyes and show me your adventures Our ahead. Our for this day is all about multiplication and division of functions. So in this lesson, you will learn how to multiply and divide functions. Example number one. The given functions are f of x is equal to x plus 2, while g of x is equal to x minus 5. Then you are asked to operate f g of x. So that is equal to f of x times g of x. So in this given, we will be having the f of x, which is x plus 2, times g of x, which is x minus 5. In multiplying binomials, the easiest method is what we call the FOIL method. So we have F-O-I-L. F, which stands for the first terms. So the first terms are, we have X times X. X times X is equal to X squared. O stands for outside terms. So we have X and negative 5. So we have x and negative 5. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Then i stands for the inside terms. Then we have positive 2 and x. 2 times x is equal to 2x. And the last terms are we have positive 2 and negative 5. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. We all know that the outside and the inside terms are like terms, so we can perform negative 5x plus 2x. Since we have one negative and one positive, we are going to subtract. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, then copy x. The final sign is negative because 5 is bigger than 2. Therefore, f of x times g of x given x plus 2 and x minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 10. Example number 2. The given functions are f of x is equal to 4x minus 1 while g of x is equal to 9x plus 5. Again, if you are asked to operate fg of x, that is equal to f of x times g of x. So the given value for f of x is we have 4x minus 1, then g of x is 9x plus 5. Again, in multiplying binomials, the easiest method is the FOIL method. So we have f-o-i-l. So the first terms are 4x and 9x. 4x times 9x is equal to 36x squared. Then we have the outside terms which are 4x and 5. 4x times 5 is equal to 20x. Then we have the inside terms negative 1 and positive 9x. Negative 1 times positive 9x is negative 9x. Then, the last terms are, we have negative 1 and positive 5. Negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5. Again, the outside and the inside terms are like terms, so we can perform the operation. So we have 20x minus 9x, we have one positive and one negative, 
Therefore, we are going to subtract. 20 minus 9 is equal to 11. Copy x, and the final sign is positive because 20 is bigger than 9. Therefore, fg of x given these functions is equal to 36x squared plus 11x minus 5. Our next example is all about dividing functions. In dividing functions, it is very important that you know the idea of factoring and the loss of exponents. So, in order to operate these functions given, f of x is equal to 6x to the 4th, y to the 7th, z to the 9th, while g of x is equal to 8x squared, y to the 10th, z to the 14th. So, f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. So, we will be having f of x is equal to 6x to the 4th, y to the 7th, z to the 9th, all over g of x, which is 8x squared, y to the 10th, z to the 14th. In order to operate or simplify this, you have to take note first the constant if they are divisible by any number. 6 and 8 is divisible by 2, so we can cancel it. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, while 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So we will be having 3 over 4. Then, in the loss of exponent in quotient rule, all you have to do is to subtract the exponents. So we will be having x to the 4th minus 2, then y, 7 minus 10, and z, 9 minus 14. Then we will be having 3x, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So that is x squared. y, 7 minus 10 is equal to negative 3, and z, 9 minus 14 is negative 5, all over 4. Again, in the rules of exponent or in the loss of exponent, there is no negative exponent. So all you have to do is to put y raised to negative 3 and c raised to negative 5 in the denominator to make it positive. So our final answer will be 3x squared all over 4 from y raised to negative 3 that will become y cubed. Then c raised to negative 5 that will be c to the 5th. This is the final answer. Okay, our next example is the given functions are f of x is equal to x squared plus 7x plus 10, while g of x is equal to x squared plus 5x minus 14. In this kind of given, it is very important that you recall the idea of factoring because that will be of great help. So we have f of x which is x squared plus 7x plus 10 all over g of x which is x squared plus 5x minus 14. The first process is to know if the given functions are factorable. x squared plus 7x plus 10. So let us think of two numbers when you add the answer is positive 7 and when you multiply, the answer is positive 10. What are the factors of 10? We have 1 and 10. We have 2 and 5. Negative 1 and 10. And negative 10. Negative 2 and negative 5. Among these factors, what are those factors when you add the answer is positive 7? So we have 2 and 5. Therefore, we will be having x plus 2 times x plus 5. Then, let us factor x squared plus 5x minus 14. We are going to think of two numbers. When we multiply, the answer is negative 14. And when you subtract, the answer is positive 5. Let us list or enumerate the factors of negative 14. 
So we have 1 and negative 14, 2 and negative 7. We also have negative 1 and positive 14, and we have negative 2 and positive 7. Among these factors, what are those two numbers when you subtract the answer is positive 5? So we have negative 2 and positive 7. So we have x minus 2 and x plus 7. Since there is no given that you can cancel out, this is already the final answer. The next example is all about dividing functions. In this kind of given, it is very important that you know the idea of factoring. So let us have this given. f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8. And g of x is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 28. Then you are asked to operate f over g of x, which is equal to f of x over g of x. So we have f of x, which is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8, all over g of x, which is x squared minus 3x minus 28. So the first thing that you need to consider is know if the given is factorable. In the numerator, we have to think of two numbers when you multiply the answer is positive 8, and when you add, the answer is positive 6. So let us enumerate the factors of 8. We have 1 and 8, 2 and 4. We have negative 1 and negative 8, and we also have negative 2 and negative 4. Among these factors, what are those two numbers when you add, the answer is positive 6? And that is 2 and 4. Therefore, we have x plus 2 times x plus 4. In the denominator, you have to think of two numbers when you multiply, the answer is negative 28, and when you subtract, the answer is negative 3. So, let us enumerate the factors of negative 28. We have 1 and negative 28. We have 2 and negative 14, we have 4 and negative 7. We also have negative 1 and 28, negative 2 and 14, negative 4 and 7. Among these factors, what are those two numbers when you subtract the answer is negative 3? And those are 4 and negative 7. Therefore, we will be having x plus 4 and x minus 7. Since we have x plus 4 in the numerator and in the denominator, we can cancel it. So, the answer will be x plus 2 over x minus 7. And that ends our lesson about multiplying and dividing functions. Do you have any question? If there is none, can you multiply and divide these functions? If you already have your answer, feel free to put your answer in the comment section. Hello mga Kamarkimatics! Did you learn from this lesson? If your answer is yes, do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and click the notification bell for more math video tutorials. Because in learning mathematics, always take note that it takes patience and courage. So, together, let us discover the beauty of mathematics. Thank you for watching and until our next video tutorial.